morning i am here to talk to you about abmas and its experience of working with farmer producer organizations over the past 5 years and it is important that we share with you some of the best practices and the 10 commandments based on our experience and learning we all know today there are Uh, 10000 farmer producer organizations in the country many of them still very nascent and some of them doing very well and there is a plan under the government of india central sector scheme to promote 10000 new fpos so for the new fpos to become vibrant effective business organizations the existing fpos need to perform well and develop into role models so in addition to apmas promoting 47 fpos on its own and incubating 150 fpos as a resource support agency of nabard we also have done a lot of work in developing self learning modules for the board of directors on governance management systems and business of the fpos so today i will share with you the 10 commandments based on our experience and learning number 1 for the fpos to become vibrant business organizations member shareholders ownership is central they must have strong farmer interest groups they must have strong board of directors and they must have widespread participation and ownership of the shareholders number 2 for the fpo to evolve into a business organization it must be system oriented it must be system driven including use of uh, some kind of a computerized software for accounting financial management uh, number 3 the fpo must have continuous capacity building and incubation support from a professional agency uh, so that they are able to have strong board of directors capable staff and also members who are able to effectively utilize and patronize the farmer producer organizations number 4 the fpo needs to be having women as shareholders and as uh, leaders in the organization from our experience of working over 20 years with the uh, sngs and sng federations of women we believe that women's role is central in the success of the fpos and women have gained tremendous amount of uh, learning from being part of the the sg movement in the country so women's role and leadership in fpos is central if possible we shall promote uh, a large number of fpos of only women as they do almost 60 70% of the agriculture number 5 for the fpos to be doing uh, you know their business effectively they must have professional team the fpo ceo the accountant business manager so these are professional staff who are well trained and are accountable to the board of directors of the uh, fpo sixth commandment for the fpos to be successful business organizations is they must have a very well developed business model and they must have a strong business plan to serve the needs and aspirations of their members number 7 it's important that the fpos have uh, a strong ecosystem for them to thrive the ecosystem particularly in terms of government providing them licenses in a quick way providing them all the schemes that are available for farmers and most importantly recognizing them as legitimate organizations of the farmers that's uh, very important number 8 uh, the fpos must have very strong financial linkages for them to 
have capital for their investment needs and working capital needs. It could be from banks and other financial institutions at favorable interest rates and terms and conditions that suit their business. Number uh, nine, uh, the FPOs must have strong partnerships and linkages with the private companies, input suppliers, um, retail chains, wholesale uh, companies, processing industries, a variety of private sector players, they must have partnerships on a win-win basis. And most importantly, and the 10th commandment is that FPOs, as they mature, as they evolve, they must also explore the possibility of federating themselves at a cluster level. For example, APMAS has promoted uh, the M Tomato FPO Federation at Madanapalli in the state of Andhra Pradesh, uh, which has nine FPOs as part of it, and they all deal with tomato as one predominant commodity. So there is a possibility of FPOs promoting at the uh, federation at a cluster level, or also at the state level for policy advocacy and creating favorable conditions for the success of the system. So. Uh, I think today we are at a, a very interesting times in the country. Uh, the FPO ecosystem is uh, surely developing and there are a number of agencies, NABAD, SFAC, NCDC, um, you know, NAFED and many other agencies are working uh, along with a large number of cluster based business organizations like APMAS uh, and I think if we are able to follow these 10 commandments and work in a mission mode, there is a definite possibility of the FPOs emerging as a strong movement in the country as business organizations and these FPOs contributing to uh, increasing the income of the farmers on a sustainable basis uh, over the next uh, 5 to 10 years. And APMAS as an organization will do everything possible to contribute to, to this particular uh, endeavor. Thank you very much.